Hello, everybody. Jason Sarney here with the FinManiacs.com halftime report. And I am with Jorge Hinojosa. Jorge, wow, unbelievable start to this game in Miami Gardens. What are your thoughts? It's, it's been a great game, and I think the difference comes down to coaching, Jason. I think the Dolphins are one of the best coach teams in the league right now. The stats say so, the penalties say so, but the fundamentals say so. I mean, just look at that defense that at the beginning of the season couldn't get their act together. And now, honestly, Boyer deserves a bunch of credit. They've been amazing. Uh, the game plan that they did for the, the Rams uh, offense has worked to perfection, especially with Goff. You can, we talked about it during the week, and if, if you rattle Goff, he's going to be in trouble for the rest of the game, and they've done that so far. Those two fumbles are going to be huge. That Van, that Van, uh, Van Dingo fumble return was just amazing. When the momentum was starting to shift towards the Rams, he comes up with a big play, and, and the Dolphins' defense is really carrying the day so far. It's an unbelievable defensive performance. And like you said, you, you were able to rattle Goff and see it early when he was getting balls defended and he had about three tip passes. And yep. then you know what? You might have felt this, this interception coming. You, know, you yep. might have felt a turnover coming. And then all of a sudden, got a situation where, you know, it's gifted to Chris, Christian Wilkins. And then, you know, it wasn't an interception. Obviously, the Andrew Van Ginkle touchdown. And now we're off and rolling in the second half. So going into the third, what are your thoughts that the Dolphins have to do now? The, the first thing is you have to keep your defense off the field. They've been on the field for way too long. They're going to be tired. I mean, they're playing great, but you want to you wanna give them, you want to rest them up and you want to tire that Rams defense. I, I, I hope Gailey starts uh, doing some motion runs just like the Rams have done against the Dolphins, force them to, to go outside, force Aaron Donald to read the play, think, and then react. They were teeing off two at the beginning. We saw that early on. I thought that Chan Gailey's game plan coming in wasn't his best so far. Uh, but hope, but thankfully the defense, the special teams have carried the day. We're gonna need, we need to see some runs to the outside. We need to see them just drain out the clock and just tire out that Rams defense and let your defense rest and recover on the sideline. I see. I, I hope we're gonna see some quick reads for Tua. Honestly, you, you could see how he settled in with that with that touchdown score. He hasn't really seen the the the, the ball a lot after that. So. Hopefully, we're going to see some more Jakeem Grant on, the, on offense. And I, see, I hope we'll see Malcolm Perry coming in with some trick plays as well. I love how you named all the different Dolphins that you could put in and just get touches. You know what? I would love to see them take it deep into the play clock, whether it's just man in motion, you're right, get Aaron Donald thinking. Even if it's just for another handoff, just get the play clock down, get Absolutely. the clock in and out of, you know, like you said, keep that Miami defense off the field and I, I just got to say you know you're looking at the stats here to a 5 11 you know 34 yep. yards touchdown eight total runs by not talking about two he had two but seven from Gaskin one from Brita you know we're not talking about a world beating statistical game on offense but this is one of those teams defensively with a guy like Tua I, I don't care you don't need 20 of 30 for 300 yards Absolutely. three touchdowns this is this is enjoyable so this, we're not out of the woods yet. You know, we've all seen it. We've all been there. The Rams yes. did go into the locker room with a, a little tad of momentum with three points, although the Dolphins can kind of counter that, knowing that they held them off yep. for a touchdown. The Dolphins do get the ball in the third, and I think that it's paramount to at least negate that three and get a three of their own at the very least. A touchdown would be nice, but how would you like to see that first drive materialize game plan-wise? Look, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that Breda needs to have uh, carry the load right now. Honestly, I think Gaskin and, and Preston Williams didn't seem focused coming into this game. We saw the two big drops by, by Glitch, and I love him. Uh, but those were big drops. Uh, that, that's actually what allowed the, the Rams to score those three points. So I see Breda coming in. I see Jakeem Grant coming in and doing a jet sweep as well. And I wouldn't be surprised if we see one or two design two runs to the outside. The, the space was there in a couple of plays early on. He decided to just throw it up. Uh, but look, my, my point of concern coming into this week was the, the Rams running game. And they've been successful. They've run for over 100 yards in the first half. Thankfully, we've got a big lead, which is going to force them to throw. Now, the Dolphins need to give Breda the ball. Uh, I was shocked that Chandler Cox was not active today. And you can see why. I mean, Tua hasn't lined up under center except for one play. And, and, and the reason is obviously he's probably not comfortable being under center that much yet. Uh, so I, I, will, I will hopefully see Brida running outside, running inside a little bit. And we have to see Sire Ford coming into the game plan. He hasn't been targeted by Tua just yet. 
Gesicki had that big, big pass uh, taken away from him. It was a great play by the Rams defense, but you have to see Saya Ford coming into the, into the game plan a little bit and probably some, uh, some, some throws down the field to Devante Parker, especially if Ramsey's not, not able to come back to the game. If all things happen the way it really should and the Dolphins can get points and maybe on defense hold the Rams, this could yeah. be a situation where it's like, all right, let's just get healthy guys out and let them rest. And you know what you said? Preston made a couple of drops. You know, Gaskin's been just kind of not doing much 3.1 carries. So let's see if there's some other guys Absolutely. in the roster who can kind of spell these other guys. Forget about stats. Let's get – Snap count separation here. Let's Absolutely. get more people involved. Yeah, and, and let's get to uh, some more, more, more plays where he can just get his feet wet. I mean, this is a perfect situation. Uh, just let him do some quick reads. I, I didn't like some of the, of the calls, as, as I mentioned, from Chan early on. He was forcing Tua to make a lot of progressions, and he's not there yet. I mean, this is his first game action in over a year uh, since the injury. So let's just, you know, let's just let him get his feet wet, give him some quick throws, some quick reads. Don't force him to do too much right now. This is a perfect situation for that to happen. And just to run down right now, those five receptions from Tua spread yep. across five different receivers. Um, the target-wise, he was looking at Preston Williams the most four times. But you know what? With those two drops, not really looking great to see Preston continue to get targets Absolutely. in the third and fourth. So you know what? Let's see what they do. A running back has to step up. They need yep. to create chain moving and extra downs on offense. So Jorge, we're, we got about a couple of minutes until we're getting back to the third. Last thoughts on what the Dolphins need to do to get home and out and get those Rams out of here with a W for Miami. They just, they just have to remain focused, well coached, keep the fundamentals straight. Don't try to do too much right now. You're ahead by three scores. Just force the, 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 the Rams offense to continue making mistakes and on offense, don't try to get cute. Don't try to do too much. Just move the chains, let the defense rest up and just keep, keep being fundamentally sound. I think that's, that has to be the difference right now. This team is turning into a sack team, and to go at home up a few scores, they're going to be passing. This Absolutely. is the time to start eating, boys. So let's see Absolutely. if we can get more sacks. Agba, sack, Lawson, sack. And obviously you've seen what uh, Van Ginkle did on his play. So, Definitely. Jorge, you're going to be doing a lot more. Stick around for Jorge, Jorge Hinojosa. He's going to be doing a ton on Finn Maniacs in addition to what he's already been doing. So good luck to everybody else. And, of course, the Miami Dolphins in the third quarter and fourth quarter. And got to get out of here with the W. All right, take care. Thank Check us out, everybody. Take care. And that was Jorge Hinojosa, one of our newest contributors over at finmaniacs.com. I'm Jason Sarney. Thanks so much for listening to this one. And check out tomorrow's new show, The Monday Quarterback, with my brand-new co-host, former Miami Dolphin quarterback, number nine, Jay Fiedler. Look forward to it. Can't wait. Speak to you soon, everybody. Fins up. Take care.